Hello, today I would like to present you this absolutely beautiful vintage KVM, the keyboard video mouse. It looks clearly like it is designed in 80s. Just take a look at that beautiful label that we've got on front. Those colors are 80s vibe, like a definition of a disco thing. It's been called a master view CPU switch just to get like a more professional vibe. It's used and compatible with a PS2 keyboard and the PC80 system. Model number is a CS122. Just take a look at those computer towers. It is a vintage stuff. We've got a single console port, so you are going to get a one screen, one mouse, one keyboard. And you've got those two computers that you can connect just by pressing a button. Here we've got a power switch and the power indicator. That device scream quality because the enclosure is made out of metal. On side we've got our PS2 ports that were latest and greatest. And as you can see, we've got a mouse icon. We've got a console and computer one, computer two, that from some weird reason they are calling CPU. That PS2 is not main selling point of that device because you can find that on all KVMs. But if you take a look at the back, you can clearly see that we've got a DE9 port for serial communication that in our case they are being used for using old vintage ball mouse. But most likely that port, if you decide that and use PS2, could be used for devices like a modem or serial communication. I haven't tried it that way, but I'm pretty sure that it will just switch those ports. Then we've got our PS2 dedicated for keyboard. On top we've got a VGA port, so it's going definitely support a color screen. In that section we've got our console, computer 2, computer 1. Since it is not passive device and you do not have any support for USB that can pull power, it's got 9 volt DC in connector for providing power from external brick. So this is where you would plug your DC adapter. On that side we've got nothing and on bottom We've got just those rubber feet, metal enclosure and the sticker. So as you can see, it looks absolutely beautiful. Let me plug it in. Let's attach our power supply and turn the power on. As you can see, we've got the power indicator on and we are currently on computer number one and we can switch it by pressing that button. If we would like to route to CPU 1, then we just press that button. And as you can see, we switch ourselves. We can go back and forth between those two computers. Absolutely beautiful stuff. If you are looking for a serial port for your mouse and most likely other devices, then this is what you need. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.